Okay, let's do it, guys. All right, I'm ready. Well, it all started about two years ago when I met Milos, uh, the director, and he was very interested in ensemble production. When we started talking about going to India and doing this, that's how the whole story began. It's like, we're gonna take a couple of people who, who are improvisers, I'm going to work with them, we're gonna create characters, and then we're gonna go to India and sort of make a movie. But when we decided to, to, to take the project here, we kind of talked about taking it one step further and then basically using this concept of improvisation to develop the shots immediately as they're being filmed. So basically to create the whole narrative there on the set in India. The India Project is an experimental film based on improv in an ensemble setting. The camera crew is improvising their camera movements. The actors are improvising their words and their feelings and their emotions and experiencing new places for the first time. The director doesn't even know exactly where it's going to go. He knows a general plot line, but he doesn't even share that with the actors. He just kind of gives this like one piece of information and then watches it develop. Okay, I don't see a thing, but I'm gonna start shooting. Yeah. This is the best way to be filming, is yeah. when you have no idea what are issues. I didn't want to come with some in detail determined character, and then the, the performance just becomes the execution of all the plans that we had before we got here. So the character is always evolving as the performance is, is going on. It's structured improv where um, I had an opportunity, uh, as my co-star did, to work with the director to develop a character uh, over the course of about two months um, without any real idea of where the narrative was going to be going, where the story was. It was more about character development. And then, uh, right before we got uh, ready to leave, I was informed of where the story would start. And I had a little bit to think about and work with but it wasn't until we got to India that the, uh, the real story started to slowly reveal itself to me and everyone else. I think one of the biggest challenges I've had shooting this has been doing the whole movie handheld. It kind of has to be handheld because of the reactive nature of the movie. The actors move around so much that you, know, you wouldn't always be able to get a, a good shot because we don't plan their movements. I've had to do a bunch of different like camera shots. I was on top of a van, I'm sitting in the front of a rick like shooting over my shoulder. Filming here has been an extreme delight just because I've been able to enjoy and experience some of these places for the first time as myself and as the character when shooting. So like a lot of the scenes where we're out exploring, I purposely stayed behind and I didn't go and see everything until we were actually filming. So a lot of the shots where I'm walking through the Mylapur Temple and the St. Thomas Cathedral and, and, and seeing the beach and the fish market and all of those places I had never been to until the camera sees me going there. I don't know what the temple looks like yet. And I'm really excited. Everybody's been able to step up and do what needs to be done. Certainly the actors, we have definitely pushed them outside of their comfort zones on multiple occasions and they sometimes were really nervous about doing a thing, but when it comes time for it, they do it. They both were real troopers in, you know, the director say, well, I want you to get in the ocean. Okay, oh, they got in the ocean. I want you to get in the back of this truck. Okay, I get in the back. Oh, I want you to do this. I want, okay. They, they were troopers. They, they really tried everything. And for an actor not to know what they're going to do in the start of the day, it can be very nerve wracking. Just filmed in a rickshaw. Yep. But projects like these can't happen without the support of, of departments and offices and centers from around the UCF campus, and I really want to thank everyone for their support. This project's unique, and I cannot think of any other university that is taking on this kind of challenge. This is a completely different project from anything that I've ever been a part of. We're doing something that I've, I've never tried before. There is no other project that at least I know of that is like this one right now. I can't believe places like this exist. Are you recording this? Yep. Oh, okay. Do I walk out of frame or are you no, just stand no, no, there? I'm going to test it. Q, C, F. Okay, that's great. Uh, are we done? Yeah.